It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to hour number two of That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. As always, learn more about the program over at tampabayradio.com. Also, help grow our YouTube channel. All shows uh, streamed live here in studio, and we throw those up on youtube.com forward slash Jamie Maloney, typically within an hour of getting the uh, show out over the airwaves. So, uh, asking all my uh, listeners to help us. Uh, grow the YouTube channel. All the high definition videos are available over there again, typically an hour with a, a, an hour after the show airs. Uh, joined in studio as always, Josh Fosda over there running the live video stream. Josh doing a great job, had a good hour there talking corporate wellness and uh, PTSD there. So a little wellness uh, wellness uh, topic there in the yeah. uh, first hour. So Right after the interview, she asked me if I was a veteran. She's like, <laughs> you look like a veteran. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> so we have a good show planned here on the uh, second uh, hour of uh, that business show on the second half of this hour we'll be talking with tom panaggio with the, about the 19 minute fast piss pitch make sure i say that right pitch <laughs> business that doesn't challenge. sound like a very fast one you know what i mean <laughs> i talk so fast that i trip over so many words i just cannot slow myself down i'm just a naturally a fast talker it happens so. to me when i get to the big words yeah so that's going to be uh, an event that's going to be uh, like a, a shark tank uh, so if you got an idea message product or service and you want to get in front of some investors stay tuned for the uh, second part of today's show and tom will be filling you in on how to get involved with the 19 minute fast pitch business challenge also we'll be hearing from uh, jennifer phelps founder and ceo of engage behavioral health but up first on the phone line i have matt ripley with cone ice so matt welcome to the program today Oh, thanks, Jamie. Thanks for having me. So I've talked with uh, uh, several franchise owners of uh, Cone Ice uh, in the past, and I know a big part of Cone Ice is giving back to the community, and that's what you do, too, through Kona Days. So tell the community, uh, tell my listeners a little bit about what Kona Days is. Well, um, Kona Days, you know, we set up uh, with various organizations such as uh, schools, and um, a Kona, typical to- Kona Day would be to go to the school, uh, have all the kids come out and uh, serve them up with the uh, the music playing and a nice cool treat. And then a the, uh, portion of the proceeds would go back to the school to help them uh, uh, with funds for their programs. Now, Kona Ice is a shaved ice truck that travels from location to location. How did you get connected with Kona Ice? Tell me a little bit about how you got involved with Kona. Well, uh, I'm a previous... Uh, pastry chef, and uh, I used to have a little business uh, selling baked goods at local markets. And uh, last year, I was doing a market, and I saw a Kona ice truck come in, and I was just amazed with it. I uh, couldn't take my eyes off of it. And uh, next day, I went online and started researching it. And three months later, I was a franchisee with the company. Now, how does it work from a business owner standpoint? Does the company uh, set up the locations? Do you go out and find the locations yourself? Do they call you? I mean, how do you how do you know where to go each and every day? When you are first signing up as a franchisee, one of the first things you do is choose a territory. Uh, all each franchisee has an outlying territory based on zip codes. And uh, so you you first choose your fr- uh, territory, whatever <clears throat> excuse me, whatever is available, and then uh, you proceed with the the rest of the process. Uh, my my territory happens to be three zip codes consisting of Northwest Tampa, going up into Carrollwood, Northdale, and then, uh, over into Citrus Park. Now, you're involved with the uh, YMCA, with the uh, Bob Sierra family YMCA over in uh, Tampa here. Uh, So you've already raised $1,200 for the organization through the uh, Kona days that you do. But tell us a little bit about this relationship and what's uh, coming up here uh, across the summer. Well, um, yeah, it's been been great since I've started working with them, the staff there, the families, the kids. I spend uh, two or three days uh, out of the week there and whenever they have special events. And um, I'm hoping that by the end of this month, uh, we'll be up to close to $2,000 in give back money. And um, it's, it's a lot of fun there. It, you know, we had a uh, summer palooza party on Saturday night and uh, just all sorts of sports uh, teams and 
Well, it's always good to see a local business owner that gives back to the community. I know Kona Ice, that's core to their message. How can the community, how can the listeners help you out as a Kona Ice a truck owner right now? Well, I always say the, the better my business, the better it is for them. So the more people that come and buy a Kona Ice, the more money I raise and the more money I'm able to give back to the YMCA. And where are you at uh, right now? Where, where are you going to be uh, setting up the truck uh, for the next uh, over the next weeks? Um, well, I've got a, a regular route during the summer with daycares and um, some uh, uh, karate studios and the YMCA. I, I've done some uh, um, charity events at George Steinbrenner Field. I just did one uh, for Everyday Heroes back on the 4th of July. And um, uh, just whatever pops up along the way. All right. Well, Matt, we appreciate you checking in uh, that business show, and we wish you the best with your Kona Ice uh, trucks. And, again, thank you for what you're doing to help out the uh, Tampa Bay community. Thank you, Jamie. Absolutely. Time to bring in my next guest for the program of Jennifer Phelps, founder and CEO of Engage Behavioral Health. And you can learn more about her throughout the discussion over at EngageBehavioralHealth.com. So, Jennifer, welcome to the program today hit the uh hit the uh, red button there if you would so tell us a little bit about why you decided to get involved you know with you know children through your practice at engage behavioral health well it is a really i feel like different story almost kind of unbelievable because it started when i was so young i um, grew up in a family with many older siblings so as they were having kids i got to kind of play mom which you know a lot of little girls want to grow up and be be a mom so that's where I started my just love for children and for seeing what how difficult it is to be a parent, even though there's so many joys that go with it. Then one of my brothers uh, married a woman who had a child with a developmental disability. And through watching their experience, I fell in love with him. And I knew I wanted to work with kids with special needs. And this is when I was about 10 years old. And then watching my sister-in-law and my brother parent a child with special needs gave me insight at a very young age of the challenges that go along with that um, and the struggle of trusting other professionals to care for your child who can't communicate and tell you um, you know how their day was and how people treated them so it really left a big impact on me at a young age so what's the engage behavioral health difference then and talk to me a little bit about your programs you have yeah. available we um oh, there's so many things that i feel like make our programs different than other programs but there's three main um pillars that i always go back to and one of those is focusing on the family that everything that we do surrounds with our being an extension of the family the second one is our internal culture and making sure that our therapist and our administrative staff are able to have a work-life balance and be able to focus when they're at work on being passionate professionals and not stressed and worried about other things going on in their life and then thirdly is our quality and when we're focusing on our, our clients and on their family and being an extension of, of support for them and uh, focusing on our culture, it's very easy to make sure that our quality is very good. Now, do you come to the parent's house and also assist? Do they have to bring the child into your care facilities? How does your programs work? That's a great question. We provide services in all environments. So the goal is wherever the child is having a difficult time, that's where our therapist goes. If that's six o'clock in the morning when they get up for breakfast, then that's when the therapist is going to be there. Um, they do also come into our clinic or we go into their schools, we go to Publix with them, to the grocery store, wherever they need our assistance to help improve their quality of life. Now, you say special needs is your specialty. Do you work primarily like with autistic children? Tell me a little bit about the different types of developmental disorders that are out there. We can work with children, adolescents, and adults with all different types of disabilities, but primarily we are currently working with children with autism spectrum disorder. Um, recently, insurance laws have been passed that children with Down syndrome can now receive services through their insurance, which is a, a huge um, new um, law that was passed. So we're very excited that families can now, with kids with Down syndrome, it's can now access. It's also surprising. You figure that'd be like the first thing on the docket. Y you would think. But okay. 
All right, so autism, uh, Down syndrome. First off, what is going on with an autistic child? Because sometimes it's very mild and it's not mm-hmm. obvious, and sometimes it's very severe. What What's the developmental disorder that's uh, occurring in the brain here? Well, you know, all children with autism look different. There are no two that are the same. So every child is going to have different features, some more severe than others. Um, we can range from not making eye contact to um, not being able to communicate verbally to engaging in severe problem behaviors such as aggression or self-stimulatory behavior like rocking or hand flapping. Now, is autism on the rise? You hear many people out there that are saying the chemicals in our foods are are contributing to this. Is that true? And are we seeing a rise in autistic uh, children these days? Well, the the number of children being diagnosed is certainly increasing. The reason for that is very much undecided within the medical community. So, Is it curable? Because I've had a couple of my friends who claim that they have seen their children cured from autism. Now, these are mild Mm -hmm. cases, obviously. Is there a cure to autism? Does it develop with proper treatment? Mm -hmm. Can it... you know, you know, um, I guess get better over time. Or is it something they grow out of? I, I would never use the word that there's a cure. Certainly if children are diagnosed at a very young age and receive um, – uh, an extensive amount of therapy and the parents are very and if the parents are very involved I have seen children become what I would say is indistinguishable from their peers but every child is so different that the outcomes for therapy are going to be different so there's just no recipe that is you're going to see the same um, effect for everybody let me take a break here currently talking to jennifer phelps founder and ceo of engage behavioral health and you can learn more about her at engagebehavioralhealth.com got a little bit more when we come back from a break with her and you're listening to that business show jamie maloney where business becomes show business how many times have you said to yourself i wish there was an app for that stop wishing and start making the world better turn your brilliant idea into a profitable business by using popcorn apps their affordable app design will help get your blue sky idea or proven business to the next level at a fraction of the cost of other developers they will help you get through all the steps needed to make your thoughts become live see them at popcornapps.com with a k in popcorn or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million dollar business and a world changer starting today Teresa turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of tax happens a boutique style cpa firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands-on personalized tax and accounting services although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are we would like you to see for yourself Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8 star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews and a 5 star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews and a 4.9 star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813 Mortgage. You drop the E and we'll drop the fee. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at proudlyflorida.com and be sure to visit proudlyflorida.com. 
Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their Shop at Home Flooring Sales Service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. Rick Taseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. From the RP Funding Traffic Network. That's the traffic on the Courtney Campbell Causeway eastbound this morning. That's all due to Hillsboro Avenue. It is closed just east of Country Way due to a brush fire to the south. We're also seeing heavy traffic on eastbound Waters Avenue and southbound Sheldon as folks try to make their way back to Hillsboro Avenue. Heavy traffic on northbound 275 on the Howard Franklin Bridge, also southbound 275 between Bierce and Hillsboro. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Foundation for a Better Life. This is water. Can you feel this, Helen? Yes, water! Helen, it's water! Deaf and blind, Helen Keller overcame her world of darkness. Foresight. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. 20% rain chance, high 93, tonight partly cloudy, low 79, tomorrow a 30% rain chance, high 92. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 here on Tampa Bay's 1250 Winds WHNZ. Video stream available on the homepage at tampabayradio.com. Also, please connect with us on all the different social media sites, facebook.com forward slash that business the show also twitter under jamie underscore maloney and then again our youtube channel entitled jamie maloney so youtube.com forward slash jamie maloney yeah definitely check that out so i stay employed <laughs> <laughs> time i'm currently talking to uh, jennifer phelps founder and ceo of engage behavioral health learn more about her services at engage behavioral health.com now jennifer you also have the learning for life academy inside your uh, schools or it's a, it's a school inside your uh, facility tell yes. us about this in all of our clinics um, we have a school called Learning for Life Academy, which was created for um, our clients and also other children in the community who are having a difficult time in local private or public schools. We have several um, clients who sometimes are asked to leave a school because their behavior is so severe that the school feels that they cannot keep the other students or the student themselves safe. So at Learning for Life Academy, we function as kind of like a, a behavioral boot camp. It's not meant to be a school that children attend for years and years and years, it's meant for them to come. They get, it's six hours a day, 12 months for the year, it's, it's year round, where we really work on reducing problem behaviors and giving them the skills they need to be able to go back and be a part of a school in a more um, traditional setting. Does the public school system today, does it have the class for special needs children like it did? I mean, when mm -hmm. I grew up there was, I mean, is it still a part of the public school system? Yeah. And But what benefits then does your program offer that they're obviously not gonna get in the public school right. system? Basically, is the short bus still around? <laughs> um, the public school system definitely still has programs for kids with special needs. They offer inclusion. They do have behavior analysts on staff like myself. So uh, they offer great programs, but they have a lot of students that need services. So what we offer is a one-to-one -one ratio or one teacher to two students. So one teacher to one student or one teacher to two students so that we can focus intensively on the difficulties that they're having. Now, what age range of students do you work with uh, through your program, through your schools? So for our school right now, we're able to accept children um, from about five years old to third grade. Five years old to third grade, mm -hmm. okay. And so what are some of the biggest challenges that you're facing in your business today? You know, 
on a daily basis, all companies have their um, challenges. But for us, it's more of uh, industry issues that really prohibit um, how well we can service the community. So for one, it's recruitment of staff. There are not enough certified behavior analysts to um, to service all the people that need assistance in the community. So recruiting is a big challenge for us. And the second one is insurance companies. Although they're offering the coverage for families of children with autism and Down syndrome, which is fantastic, unfortunately they often close their insurance panels. So even if I'm able to recruit a wonderful behavior analyst and I wanna to go to my wait list and start servicing clients, I might not be able to get that analyst credentialed with an insurance company, which means those families are still gonna sit on our waiting list. Now are your uh, therapists, are they uh, contracted out are they employees of no. behave or yeah. engage behavioral? All of our employee, all of our staff are full-time employees with full benefits, and um, you know, because part of our goal is to give people one a career and two a work-life balance. So we try to take on all the stressors that come with um, you know taxes and benefits mm -hmm. and health insurance and all those things for them. So you've started the company. When did you uh, launch the company? I launched it in 2008. Mm -hmm. However, I was working for other companies. It was kind of something I did on the side. In 2011 is when I started focusing just on the company. Okay, and you've grown it to how many staff members today? We have about 95 wow. employees today. Wow. wow. What would you attest that type of growth to? Because that's one thing I always like to talk to yeah. about entrepreneurs about is how did you get into that growth mode? Because so many people struggle with that. You know, growing was never my goal. So it's a little bit different than most businesses. I, I started the company because I wanted to help families. I wanted to help kids. And the growth has been truly organic. So I believe by just putting our heads down and focusing on the quality and the culture enabled us to just grow organically. Now, were you a therapist uh, and now you're running the business pretty I was, much? <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm a, in my, on my heart on a daily basis, I am, I am a therapist. Um, What's the age cutoff? Five well, to thirteen for, for the kid, the clients. Do you yeah, need? Because yeah. I need have some special services? needs, and my environment's the club. So, <laughs> Josh is say stop for himself. I'm sure I have some people that would be happy to go with you and assist. <laughs> so, but today you spend the majority of the time running the back end I of the do business. Spend all, yes, um, I have. I can't stop the ideas of how we can grow and new programs that we can add to help families. So I spend majority of my time creating ideas that I then have a wonderful team of people that they actually make them happen. So you work with children that are autistic with Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. How does Down syndrome differ from autism? What's going on with Down syndrome versus autism? Well, children with Down syndrome have a, a, a chrome. There's act, they've actually been able to identify the chromosome and the, the where the disability comes from. So their characteristics are very different. Um, most children are verbal, their degree of problem behaviors are different. Self-stimulatory behaviors, as you see in children with autism, you don't typically see in children with Down syndrome. And so what are the other disorders then that you would work with then? We got Down syndrome, autism, what else would really you work with? any with? other developmental disability, or even we work with typical developing children who don't have a diagnosis that are just having behavioral difficulties. So what are we gonna see from Engage in the uh, coming years? What's uh, And what are we gonna see down the line? Are we gonna see this expand uh, throughout the estate? And are you mm -hmm. just right now just still uh, just local here in the Tampa Bay? We do have um, a clinic and provide services home in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, but you, every year I say, it's going to be an exciting year. And everybody <laughs> in the company looks at me and are like, okay, but every year is an exciting year. And there's so many things I could talk probably for an hour about all the new things that are that are about to pop up. Um, I think a few of the biggest ones right now that are, are just about to roll out is we've created a fellowship program for the PhD students at the University of Florida that are in the Applied Behavioral Analysis Program. So that was just approved last week. So really excited to be able to offer that to the PhD students. And we've also been, um, we just completed doing a training for the Temple Terrace Police Department on how to engage with um, citizens with special needs in the community. And that program was actually created by one of our interns, Tierra Brooks, which is super exciting um, to be able to have an intern um, do something like that. What about uh, horses? Do you guys have any <laughs> kind of programs with horses? Uh, I know uh, there's quite a few yeah. ranches mm -hmm. that help uh, you know special needs kids with riding. We we do not offer that. I know clients that have absolutely loved it. And back when I was doing therapy, I actually went with some clients to to do um, to do that, and it's a great addition. Now you go into people's homes to assist with special needs children. Mm -hmm. You have your facility. What about schools? Do you go into the school systems too? We do. We go into. We have several relationships with private schools, and we go into the public school when um, when it's needed. All right. Good information from another uh, successful entrepreneur here in the uh, Tampa Bay area. So Jennifer Phelps, thank you so much uh, for being in the studio. Thank you for having me. And again, that's the founder and CEO of Engage Behavioral Health. You can learn more about her over at engagebehavioralhealth.com or give her office a call at eight one three three. 
813-374-2070. Again, 813-374-2070. Again, helping children with special needs. Coming back from the break, we'll be talking with Tom Panaggio. He is going to be talking to us about the 19-minute fast pitch business challenge that's going to be going on here at the uh, Center Club. So if you've got a message, product, or service and want to get in front of some investors, he'll be talking about that program when we come back to that business show. Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Hi, I'm Kelly Ham from Dillmeyer Ham Consulting. Did you know that one of the biggest challenges that leaders face is getting their employees to be engaged, motivated, and producing amazing business results? At Dillmeyer Ham Consulting, we'll help you transform your workforce culture from one that might be underperforming, maybe mediocre, to achieving amazing business results. You see, we realize that your workforce culture is equally as important as your business plan and your business strategy. The two must be aligned in order for you to reach your desired business and financial goals. Hey, Carol. Um, hey, Jim. I just got this uh, this plan that could really help with our process here. Okay, why don't you just have a seat and let's go over it. Let us help you transform your workforce culture by leveraging your most important assets, your people. I want to know what's going on in your organization. Let us help you transform your workforce culture. Let's have a conversation. I feel guilty that I can't always be there when mom feels stuck at home. She was always there for us. But now she can't get out and I'm not always available to take her places. Someone else needs to help her get around. Then I learned about home instead. Now mom can do what she enjoys because her personal caregiver is there. And I can just be a daughter again. Are you struggling to care for your loved one? We can help. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. It's north of Cyprus for construction. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson, New York, Hillsboro Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. Just a slight chance of rain today, going up to around 93. Partly cloudy upper 70s tonight, 92 with a 30% rain chance tomorrow. 1250 wins, WHNZ, Impact Radio. Tonight we'll have the Home Run Derby during All-Star festivities right here on 1250 wins, WHNZ, starting at 8. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 wins, WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show. Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Reminder of the uh, Christmas in July event going on July 21st over at T. Pepin Center. That's uh, being put on by the Tampa Bay business owners. And again, a very fun business social running from 5 to 8.30 again next Thursday. Tickets uh, just $29, $19 for TBBO members. And again, just uh, a great way to come out and uh, meet and network with fellow professionals. You don't have to be a business owner. Anybody's invited to uh, this event. Uh, and again, you can pick up tickets over at tbbo.org forward slash CIJ. And also remember this uh, show, that business show, in partnership with the Tampa Bay Business Owners Now, working hand in hand to give a stronger voice to both TBBO and that business show. So I'd like to extend an invite to fellow business owners in the uh, Tampa Bay community to uh, learn more at tbbo.org if you'd like to uh, apply for membership and request a uh, one-on-one meeting with either myself or uh, Chris, the uh, founder of the organization. Happy to sit down with you and discuss 
discuss the uh, benefits and you'd be also helping out the uh, the program and your fellow business owners by giving them a stronger network of professionals and adding in your own um, value to the uh, community again tbbo.org time to bring in my next guest for the program of tom panaggio he is a strategic innovation consultant with apogee growth and he's also uh here to talk about the 19 minute fast pitch business challenge which is going to be going on over at the center club so tom welcome to the program today Good morning. Thank you for having me. So the fast pitch business challenge, first off, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a tongue twister. First yeah, of I all. know. I know. <laughs> well, what it is, is a competition that we, we combine uh, a little bit of Shark Tank, a little bit of American Idol, and a little bit of the profit to, uh, to shine a light on the Tampa Bay small business community. What we're going to do is we're going to give a, a small business uh, who who wins the competition a fifty thousand dollar grand prize, which un- unfortunately it's, it doesn't include cash, but what it does include and is uh, part of the program is uh, fifty thousand dollars worth of consulting and business services, and th- that's kind of the second bite of the apple for for this particular competition. What, what we want to do there is also shine a light on some of the fantastic and incredibly intelligent people in this community that can offer assistance to a business that needs help growing and being successful. Now, where did the idea for the night, and is this the first one of this, this event? This is the first one. Okay, where did the idea come about? The idea came about, um, I was uh, asked to create a program. Uh, I'm a member of the business committee at the Center Club, um, and I was asked to create a program to to create some interest, and, and I literally came up with it uh, one day just sitting in the meeting well, that's always out. that's <laughs> always a challenge of a committee yeah. or any uh, you know somebody that is tasked with driving business to you know the center club for instance or any business is how do you you know drive business without spending money and so this is where the 19 minute fast pitch challenge comes in yeah, yeah. so I, the idea is to draw attention but you don't have the fifty thousand so you're going to offer it in a like kind trade correct that, exactly right that's exactly right what, what we feel is that I mean a, a business obviously always can use money there's no question about it but what we wanted to do is we wanted to help them grow and we, we part of this is we want to follow that company for the for the entire year and see how it it progresses and again it, it's it's a two bite of the apple it's going to it's going to promote small businesses in Tampa Bay which as we all know and as as you speak about um, that's what fuels our economy that's what keeps us strong so if we have a strong small business community we're going to have a s- strong community in general and the other thing is to shine a light on some of these really intelligent and capable people that can help small businesses become successful and grow and yeah so it's, it's, it's a two-sided sounds like a lot of fun to be honest now uh, when it, first off when is the 19 minute fast pitch challenge here's what here's how it works we're starting today to open it up for entries so okay. we can go to the uh, the website 19 minute challenge dot com to to register uh, uh, a business okay. if you if you know somebody that's a small business and can use some help um, tell them please to, to, to go to the 19 minute uh, dot 19 minute challenge dot Nin- com okay. that's great they can apply it's uh, the finals are October 18th and it's going to be at the Center Club uh, the way it's going to work is we're going to choose 12 companies and they're going to go through a pre- preliminary on October 4th and 6th. So six on one day, six on the other. And what it is is you have five minutes to tell us, the, the group of judges, a compelling story about your company. Wait a Why, second, what about the other 14? Well, th- good point. I'm glad you brought that up. 14 minutes of cross-examination and interrogation by the judges. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's how part. that's going to work. Yeah, <laughs> And uh, so we're going to pick uh, on that first... N- Two nights, the preliminaries, we're going to pick um, pick a total of three companies, and they're going to move on to the finals. Okay. So anybody can register for this over at 19minutechallenge.com. Do I got that right? 19minutechallenge.com. Yep. And That's then good. you're it's going up to – on the stream, too. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yeah, we yeah. got that up there. And, and here's, here's the only requirement. you got to be in business two years. We, the startup community has plenty of options available, so we felt that we want to have established businesses. You got to be operational in in uh, three counties: Hillsborough, Pasco, and uh, Pinellas. Doesn't mean that that's your restricted business area, but that's where you got to be based. And uh, we, we we would love to have nonprofits, but we we want for profit companies. Okay, and I want to be clear here: this is, it's not really an investor. 
pitch because you're not getting cash, but you're getting resources, uh, you know, ta- uh, tantamount to the fifty thousand dollar prize, which is correct. In many cases, probably just as good because a lot of people go out there and blow the fifty thousand dollar cash money. With this, you're offering them consulting and other things of value that they can really take to heart and develop. So, tell me the components of the package. You're saying fifty thousand dollars worth of like consulting, but wh- what's what's all in this package? So, the first thing we'll do is we'll we'll go in and and we'll do a, a complete. Um, kind of analysis of the business, and that'll be a strategic um, analysis to see what what's going on in the business, um, and and that's that's a a 365 day um, program. So that's good. that's that's a pretty intense thing. So from that, we'll determine what kind of things the business needs, uh, whether they need marketing help, whether they need help with process, whether they need help with HR, uh, hiring, recruiting, that sort of thing. Um, what kind of benefits they're offering. Um, we'll help them. Uh, w- one of the one of the prize packages is um, working on their presentations. So if they're 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 they got a sales team, um, we'll work on their presentations. <coughs> so go ahead. Excuse All right. Me. So uh, help with the pitch. You know the consulting. You know the 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 intake where you really analyze and you know the business and where their weak areas are. Go ahead and continue. What else are you uh, throwing well, in there? We're also going to uh, have a. Um, you, uh, somebody is going to is already committed to developing a website for for the winning company. Yeah, everybody has a website, but this this will be a, a improve a, the website improve from the website yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, we'll 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 have a a, um, a leadership training because every everybody has trouble with not only you know the CEO could certainly always use uh, help in, in leadership, but it's it's the it's the line managers and second second line managers that that need help with leadership uh, innovation. Innovation is not something that happens spontaneously. So the thing is, let's let's put in place a um, a system and a strategic plan for creating innovation within a company. So those are some of the things that uh, we're gonna we're gonna be offering in the package. Um, some some of the some of the services will be useful to some companies. Some of them won't, but um, uh, we'll have plenty of uh, opportunity to help them grow. Is this going to be televised or recorded at some point or um, presented in front of a live audience? It'll be presented in a, li- a live audience. We'd love to have uh, a local media company or, or somebody uh, help I us. Happen with- to know a guy. <laughs> you, I, I don't, anybody here in the room? <laughs> yeah. No, I work for Tampa Bay Multimedia, and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and forward some information. All right. Me. I'll leave my card. See, this is the, already it's paid off here. Yeah, there you go. There you Synergy. go. So, so, of course, we give you some uh, promotion. Uh, I know I was approached by um, your partner there at the uh, Center Club to uh, – uh, get you yep. on the radio and uh, talk about oh uh, ray ray frazier ray yeah. frazier there you go one of the great of. connectors in this world yes man. very accomplished uh, professional there i was drawing a blank on his name i appreciate that though but yeah i'm definitely going to help you all out with promoting this event over the uh, the next few months yeah as we as we look as we keep talking about small entrepreneurs are the backbone of this economy and if we could do anything to help grow the small entrepreneurial community as as you know being involved with tbbo we, we know that there's an awful lot of people out there that need help and that are, are really, really have solid ideas and solid businesses. Yep. They just need a little guidance. And yep. this is just a way to, to go, hey, let's have a little fun and, and we'll give you some help. Yeah, nobody teaches us business unless we have a mentor. You come out of school and you're clueless. I know I was and I'm still kind of kind of clueless and learning as you, I go along. You so. too? <laughs> <laughs> you wander around. You go, there, look, there's thousands of books, but how does a book that, that let's say, Jack Welch wrote for – you know, General Electric. How does that apply to the to the two and three man business here in Tampa Bay? I mean, there's not a lot of relevance that you get from that. It's right. it's only through entrepreneurial interaction that yep. you you learn these things. Yeah. And I'm, I'm excited because Tampa is very collaborative, although we need more investment in the area. There's a lot of people willing to help and share ideas and stuff, but we need more investors. We need more of a Silicon Valley type of a mentality with the investment out there. How can we drive more investment in this uh, area? Well, Hire you know, more plastic surgeons in the area? <laughs> surprisingly, uh, and again, one of the things I'm also involved with is Tampa Bay Wave, which is a, which is a high-tech accelerator here in Tampa. And there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of investment vet, investment. Um, interest starting to, to, to be generated. Um, we're, we're looking at, uh, through Tampa Bay Wave, we're looking at a, a number of uh, programs in which we can gather investors together to hear some of these unbelievably creative, innovative companies that are, that are being started right here in Tampa. It, it, it's, it's like anything else. You know, there, there's a reason why when you drive down certain roads, there's auto dealers all on one road. It's, it's when you have success, mm-hmm. people come because there's success there. Right. So when we start having successful uh, companies that are launched from Tampa, 
um, you're going to see more people come here to start companies, which means the investors are going to come because they know this is where the opportunities are. Absolutely. Now, the 19-minute fast pitch challenge, you know, once uh, the winner is announced, uh, they get $50,000 worth of, you know, value. Uh, how long does it take to implement the entire package? How long will they be working with the, the consultants? Hopefully, it'll be a whole year. It'll be about a year yeah. that they'll be developing their, their business. Yeah. Who are the judges? Uh, have they been selected yet for the uh, the 19-minute fast got, pitch? We've got a couple of judges that have committed. Um I, I I don't want to name them yet because I don't have uh, I don't have them all totally. Are committed. any of them um, sort of like Simon from what is it the, <laughs> the one show? I don't think they're going to be that brutal. Are I, you? I know the, the the first the first judge that I personally approached to get committed is definitely not a Simon, but it's it's uh, it's Katie. Mm-hmm. Katie. Katie Kermitsos. Oh well, yeah, Katie she, Kermitsos she, from yeah, TVBO. She, so yeah, yeah. I it, it, I have a lot of women that that have stepped up and raised their hand said they want to be a judge which yeah. i think is oh great. you got to find a simon <laughs> <laughs> well there's plenty of, of great entrepreneurs out there that can uh, you can definitely uh, fit the bill for a judge at the uh, competition so i can definitely help you out with some connections and i know you have some plenty of yourself let me take a, a quick break here currently talking to tom panaggio he is a strategic innovation consultant with apogee growth and also we're talking about the 19 minute fast pitch business challenge and you can learn more about that over at 19 minute challenge.com and more about tom's services over at apogeegrowth.com. You're listening to That Business Show, Jamie Maloney, your business becomes show business. Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. Attention medical professionals. Have you heard the Tampa Bay will become the first certified wellness district in the country? Thanks to Jeff Fennick's revitalization of Channel Side, the Dr. Whisperer wants to streamline your efforts and preparation. So when you're ready to ignite your practice, use the Dr. Whisperer's public relations expertise to spread the word. Use the Dr. Whisperer to motivate your staff. And use the Dr. Whisperer to recruit and secure leaders within your practice. Call the Dr. Whisperer today at 727-420-2481 or visit the drwhisperer.com where they write your prescription for success. Who doesn't have a smartphone these days? And of course, there's an app for everything. Well, almost everything. That's why the folks at Popcorn Apps started developing mobile applications. They saw people like you with genius ideas unable to make those thoughts a reality. They develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months. Think you're not ready? Think again. They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn. Or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on That Business Show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. Did you know the biggest challenge business leaders face today is creating an engaged and productive workforce culture? Bill Meyer Ham Consulting wants to help you solve this challenge. They will help you transform your workforce culture to produce amazing business results. Call Bill Meyer Ham Consulting at 941-201-4650 today or visit BillMeyerHam.com. That's BillMeyerHam.com. Have a conversation. I knew mom wanted to stay at home. It's the center of her family, her life. But helping mom stay in her home while managing mine was just too much. Honestly, it wasn't just about me. Mom didn't want me to be her caretaker. She wanted me to be her daughter. I felt so alone until I found out about Home Instead Senior Care. When we met the people at Home Instead, we just knew they were different. The experience was personal. And most importantly, for Mom and me, I get to be her daughter again. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. At Vane 911, we will help you feel great again. Do you have restless legs, night leg cramps, or ankle swelling? Restless legs, cramping, swelling, and tired heavy legs are often symptoms of hidden vein disease. You do not have to have visible bulging veins to have the symptoms of vein disease. 
The vein care specialists at Vein 911 are uniquely qualified to evaluate and treat your veins. Are you unhappy with your previous vein treatment? Vein 911 succeeds where others fail. Call Vein 911 today at 855 Vein 911. That's 855 855- 834-6911 to book your free consultation. Vane 911. We will help you feel great again. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Good morning. Hillsborough Avenue is still closed in the eastbound direction at Montague. This is just east of Country Way, and it's going to be this way apparently for a while. Uh, brush fire to the south of the road, not affecting westbound direction, but eastbound. They're turning your left on Montague or Country Way and then up the waters. You may want to consider a line ball in the eastbound direction as well over to Courtney Campbell Causeway. But all those roads seeing a lot of additional traffic because of this. See traffic problems. Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich, Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866 866- This report is brought to you by Foundation for a Better Life. This is water. Can you feel this, Helen? Yes, water. Helen, it's water. Deaf and blind, Helen Keller overcame her world of darkness. Foresight. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. 20% rain chance. High 93. Tonight, partly cloudy. Low 79. Tomorrow, a 30% rain chance. High 92. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And welcome back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Currently talking to Tom Panaggio, Strategic Innovation Consultant with Apogee Growth and also been talking about the 19-minute challenge that's going to be going on uh, this October over at the Center Club. So if you'd like to uh, apply for a spot on uh, that uh, uh, on that pitch, I should say, you should visit 19minutechallenge.com. So, Tom, we we're talking in that last segment about you know the entrepreneurial spirits alive and well in Tampa Bay. You know, but you know how can more how can we get more and more people involved? And tell me a little bit about yourself and your entrepreneurial background as well. I think that uh, to get more people involved, they've they've, they've got to be um, a little bit willing to accept the risk. And, and that's the whole problem with, with people that uh, have this burning desire to be their own boss, to, to start a business, is they look at that, that cliff that they have to leap off of and they go, geez, you know, I'm just not real uh, sure I want to do this. And, and if you go, look, th- that first leap, it's sure it, it, it may be painful, but take it. I, there's nothing better. In, in, I always tell people this. Five years I in my career, whole 30 something year career I work for somebody the first two as a commodities broker right out of college hated it Mm -hmm. because I worked for somebody else the last three after I sold my company I had to work for the company that bought us for three years hated it because it I was working I wasn't working for myself how does that work out when you sell a company and become an employee of the company is that really is that a good does that work out well for you I mean it didn't seem like you were happy with that role it could it could but but things change you know you, you create a culture you build a you you know for thirty years you build a business and you it's your personality it's your culture and then somebody comes in they go well we really love what you did however we would rather do it this way <laughs> and you go well well geez you bought us because we did it that way why change it I mean right um, so it, it it just changes things it's no longer your baby it's somebody else's baby and you're just babysitting for it so you spent first of all what was uh, the business that you saw what was the industry what was it a, a direct marketing direct. we had it yeah a- anybody out there that's um and there's i'm sure there's a lot of uh, people that have received uh, invitations in the mail for a dinner seminar for financial planners that's a program that we created me, me my partner george Villar and i and another gentleman phil turk uh the, the company here in, in tampa's uh, uh, uh rme um, which stands for Response Mail Express. And, and originally, uh, my brother, sister, and I started a company in Daytona Beach called DME, which is Direct Mail Express. And then we were doing lead generation for um, timeshare resorts and then ultimately for um, automobile de- automobile dealerships. So you were a direct mailer? You would, yeah. Somebody would hire you to m- do a mailing campaign, essentially? Is that kind of the gist of what you were doing? Basic, Basically. Uh, we did a little differently. So um, the typical direct mail company has machines and, and you go and they go, hey, we got all these machines. What, what do you got? We'll run through these machines. And we, 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 we didn't want to do that. What we did is we created programs and sold these programs that just so happened to use the direct mail 
you know, direct mail to, to get the message out. So we didn't sell services. We sold a, a package and we sold lead generation systems. And that's, oh, that, so that people, was, would people create their own mailers? In, no, we did you, you did all the mailers, all. but this it, was a package that they bought. Yeah, okay. yeah. In fact, we did it even, even differently than 99.9% than .9 of all the direct mailers. We had it all done beforehand. In fact, it was like going into McDonald's and you go, yeah, give me uh, the Happy Meal number one. And we had the, the, the invitations already done. They were already printed. They were already sitting in our warehouse. So we just ran them through. Technology allowed us to run through laser printer to, to personalize them for, for the individual client. And your best program was with the financial planners, the financial, financial advisor? planners, yeah. And yeah. you got that known across the country then? Across the country. And, and How did that take off? How did that niche come about? Did you just kind of find that you know a lot of your financial Marketing. Planners? We marketed the crap out of it. But we we found out that, yeah, That's right. We, we, we found out it... it we, Started doing it in the in the um, early '90s, and it and it it resonated with the financial planners. They were getting great results, and then we 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 said, "Oh my God, there's something to this. We we gotta we gotta exploit this," and we just cranked up the marketing. If you don't market, nobody's gonna know how good your company is in the products and service. So we just poured everything into marketing, and it just grew exponentially because m the more people that saw our program and saw the success. The more they wanted to try it, so it, it, it our 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 growth was explosive. We literally went from four employees to 180 in less than 10 years. Wow! And this was based over in Daytona. No, this was here in Tampa. This was here in Tampa. Yeah, okay. The, the Daytona one that was even bigger. Okay. Yeah, that was. We got up to about 400 employees in Daytona, and that was wow. we were working with uh, automobile dealerships. Um, we we didn't we didn't sell cars we didn't do promotions to sell cars ours was the back end we did the parts and service mailers and the service reminder programs for people like toyota and auto nation and, and when did you sell the the mail businesses when did you get um, out of the business technically we still have part of it we sold we sold the first part in uh, 08 here in tampa we sold the uh, army in 08 um, and then we sold the automotive division in um, last summer um, so what I'm getting at, I'm just wondering how effective is direct mail as a marketing uh, technique today? I mean, still it, very, very I'm effective. The same thing. Is it any better than flying? You know, where you go go around the different businesses and hang flyers. Flyers, flyers. Like well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, and everybody said direct mail is going to die because of email, because of the internet. But guess what? They've yet to perfect a spam filter for your post office. <laughs> that is they true. Just, they have not. There's no way to do it. You, it's gonna keep tomorrow. I guarantee a guy's gonna come to your house and he's gonna deliver some mail. <laughs> you could tell him, hey, don't give that to me. He's gonna, go, I got to. So, so it's still very effective. It really, really is. That and, is a um, collection of the keys from the auto ship dealers. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I know. Every time I go to the mail, I go right over to my trash can. And that's the half of it away. You know, yeah, right but, off the but bat. That's, that, but you know, here's the thing. Here's the beauty about direct mail. Ninety. 8% of it fails, but you can make a ton of money on that 2%. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. Because, I mean, the only fee is the printing cost and then the postage, then, correct? And that's really only the overhead, right? Right. But you'll get enough response on 2%, 1% So that's something that people today should even still be considering in their marketing plan, then. Absolutely. Direct mail. Absolutely. A, lot of people, a lot of people are all on the, the tech ideas, you know. The, yeah. the, the response rates for things like email are so pathetic. You just cannot. I mean, it's, it's the email point, marketing. Oh, it's yeah, and and that was the thing. Ah, email. They're gonna they're gonna kill direct mail. You go. Well, I got I got news for you. It's still it's still pretty vibrant. Yeah, email is. Uh, they either end up in spam or you get unsubscribed from. And it's it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. But it's it's you get, it's you get hard. blacklisted. Yeah, it's it's hard to develop a good email campaign. Yes. Yeah, so, well, a good discussion with uh, Tom Panaggio, strategic innovation consultant with Apogee Growth. So, Tom, thank you for being in the uh, studio you, this Jamie. morning. Appreciate it. And again, I'll uh, be uh, reminded of the nineteen minute challenge going on this uh, October at the uh, Center Club. You can register if you're a business, uh, been in business uh, two years uh, over at 19minutechallenge.com. Also want to thank my guests up in the uh, first part of the hour. I had uh, Matt Ripley with uh, Kona Ice and also Jennifer Phelps who was with Engage Behavioral Health. So thank you to them and also thank you to my 7 a.m. guests who was uh, Dr. Roger Sahori talking corporate wellness, a very good uh, application he's got for that. You can learn more about that over at drsahori.com if you missed that conversation conversation a good little app there if you're thinking about uh, implementing a corporate wellness program we talked with him in the seven o'clock hour and also lynn santiago licensed mental health cower health counselor in at 7 30 be sure to tune in tomorrow morning at 7 a.m and we'll be doing tbbo tuesdays as well you've been listening to that business show jamie maloney your business becomes show business mm -hmm.